seven and a half, good seven and a half. Last call, seven and a half. Now ten. Seven over ten. Seven and a half over ten. Ten, ten. I got seven and a half over ten. Seven and a half over ten for all three. You get the five boxes too. Seven and a half over ten over ten. Everybody want to be ten? Ten. I didn't see your hand go up. Ten now, twelve and a half. Ten looking for twelve and a half. Had twelve and a half. Last call, twelve and a half. Ten dollars, one zero zero four. Using casings. Both boxes for one money there. Just empty cases for your when you reload. The five dollar go five one over five, and a five dollar five, and a five dollar five. Now seven and a half. Five over seven and a half, seven and a half, nice and all seven and a half. another um, eBay and Amazon sales update video for you guys. Today, um, This week actually was a very slow week for me because I had to go back to work so I was not listing very much at all and as we know on eBay if you're not listing then you're not selling. So definitely a slow week but let's get right into it and show you what I got. First thing was a Johnson and Murphy men's shirt, just a regular button-up shirt, silk shirt, um, size extra large. I'm not sure exactly where I picked this up, but I'm sure I didn't pay more than four or five dollars for it, even if I got it at the Goodwill. Um, let's see. It shows here that it sold for $28.99, but I actually took a best offer on this one for $18.65. And the buyer paid shipping on that as normal. Next, have a Brooks Brothers. This one actually sold almost immediately after I listed it. I think it sold like the next day. The Johnson and Murphy that I just showed you, it was in my store for a while, but this one didn't stay around very long at all. It was a pink, a light pink color. The original polo shirt, it was a size 17.34 and it was a long sleeve shirt. As you can see, it sold for, it did sell for the 24 that you see here and I did have free shipping on that one just because um, it was so light. That's something I play around with a little bit on my light stuff. I don't really like free shipping, but for this one I did do it. Next, we have a Black & Decker Space Maker can opener. This was the EC75, which just means that it does not have the um, knife sharpener on the side. The EC85 does have the knife sharpener on the side right here. This one had all the parts. Everything worked on it. I picked it up at the Goodwill for, show you, picked it up at the Goodwill for like 4 or 5 dollars. But um, I think the Space Maker, a lot of people have talked about it on videos and on YouTube. I think their time is, is kind of coming to an end because I used to sell these for much more money. This one did sell for $39.96 with the customer paying shipping. But um, this used to be a $60 item all day long um, a couple of years ago. So, And this one actually sat in my store for probably... I would say six to eight months and I actually have two more of these in my store um, that are the EC85 and they are definitely not the fast seller that they used to be so just up to you if you still want to pick them up if I can get them cheap enough I'll still pick them up but it's not something I would pay a lot for. Next we have Nick and Nora pajamas. These were really cool pajamas. If they had fit me, I would have kept them, but I am far from a size small. So, um, And these were like a really light, even though they were a three-quarter length sleeve, they were a really light cotton material, and the pants were like a capri size. Um, they sold for, I took the best offer on these for $15 with the buyer paying shipping. 
Nicanora is another item I would say is kind of going on my back burner. It used to have a really big following. You used to sell them as soon as you listed them. These have been around in my store for several months. Um, again, that's just something that, you know, the YouTube customer, I mean, community kind of put out as a bolo and, and nothing wrong with that. That's great. That's how we learn. But when when things come out as bolo and everybody starts picking them up, you know, the price can kind of drop. So that's something that you're seeing with Nick and Nora. So even though I had them listed for $24.99, I did take the best offer for 15 Now, next, I have kind of an odd item that I picked up at an estate sale. It is a portable toilet, like for a camper or if you're going hunting or RV, anything like that. That's what this is. And these are very expensive when you buy them new. I got this at an estate sale. I paid $2 for it. It was in great condition. You can see it still has all the stickers. Everything looks really good on it. Um, I had it listed for, I think I had it for $60 to begin with, and it was on sale. And I actually took a best offer for $42.50. And this is the item that I showed earlier in the week or last week um, where I was shipping it faster than the customer paid for. Um, normally, I wouldn't take a best offer that much off of my asking price, but I did that just because this was such a large item. Um, and I really wanted to get it out of my dining room, to be honest with you, because it was a toilet. Um, next. I have a Lane Bryant size 28 shirt. It was a tank type shirt. You can see the, the interesting back. Um, and as I said before, if you can find anything that large of a size, pick it up. This I listed at the beginning of the summer, and it sold over, let's see, it sold last week. And it did have free shipping on it because it was maybe four ounces super, super light. Um, it did sell for the $18 that it shows. That's something you have to be really mindful of if you're using free shipping. Um, I run a lot of sales in my store, so if you're using free shipping, you have to really be mindful of the items that, how much you're marking them down, because you don't want to end up marking them down too much and then having the free shipping and, you know, not making any profit or very little profit because of that. Next, I've shown these in an earlier video. I picked up three of these earlier in the summer, and they were actually marked at $3. It was half off that day, so I got them for $1.50 a piece, and this is actually the third one that I've sold, so all of these are gone now. Um, and these were just thermostats. They were actually quite um, an old version. But I guess people still want them. You know, you get used to one thing. So these did sell for the $18 with the customer paying shipping. And you see, I don't actually, I do do a lot of clothing, but really I don't specialize in anything. Anything that I can find that I can make some money on, I pick it up, you know. Um, anything from toilets to thermostats to clothing, so. Next, we have an Optimus micro cassette. This, let's see, I did sell for $14.99. Customer paid shipping. I got this at my local St. Vincent de Paul store um, for a dollar. Micro cassettes, you can still do pretty well on most of them if they're working. This one did have some scratches, you can see, um, but it worked. Um, just fine. I did test it and it had a tape inside you can see there. So I did test it and was able to see that everything worked just fine on it. Um, some of your micro cassettes are going to sell better than others, some brands, but if it's, if it's something that you see that's cheap, always at least take a second look it up and just see. But you know, for a dollar, that's kind of a no brainer if it works. So. Um, Okay, I think that is actually all I have this week on eBay. I did have one sale today, but that will be in next week's video. 
and I will see you in a few minutes for my Amazon update. Okay, back now with our Amazon update for this week. It is actually going to be a very short update. I only had four items that sold on Amazon. First was this set of two Vizio 3D rechargeable glasses. Um, I picked these up at St. Vincent de Paul thrift store for $5. They were still new in the original package. And um, you can see the price right now is $32.99, but my pair actually sold for $39.99. Next, we have a book. It was a, let's see, this was a paperback book, I believe. It's been a while since I sent this one in, but Last Minute Pediatrics. Um, my copy sold for $12.38, and it actually shipped overseas. The customer paid $12.38 for the book, and then 40 something for the shipping through Amazon. So pretty cool there. And this was a used copy of my book. Next, we have a set of the micro disc floppy disks. These were double sided and I sent in quite a few of these to Amazon. I think I ran across these at a yard sale. Um, my packages sold for $8.44, which is the same thing they're selling for now. And last is another set of the fuses, the two packs that I picked up at Walmart. I believe I paid $2 for those at Walmart. Um, not 100% sure on that. But my, my package sold for $11.25. And that is all I have for this week. We will see you again next Sunday with this week's update. And it, unfortunately, it will probably be a little slow this week as well. School starts this week, so I'm going to be crazy busy. So I'm not sure how much listing I'm going to get done this week. Um, but whatever I sell, I'll be back next Sunday to show you guys. If you like what you see please like, please subscribe. Thank you very much.